Hello everyone, Dr. Trevor Sexton here from Compass Naturopathic Health Clinic. Uh, today I want to talk to you about water. Water in relation to our current state right now in preventing and treating any virus that someone might have. Uh, the flu still is there, we just don't hear about it anymore because of a, of, of a different virus. Um, water in relation to pain and, and aching throughout the body, um, water in relation to detoxing, and so forth. So, first of all, um, a lot of upper respiratory infections, viruses that affect the, the lungs, the upper lungs, the nasal cavity, and so forth, <clears throat> they're, they're able to infiltrate because a person's dehydrated. Um, when you live in a dry environment, which we do up here on the mountain, we're at anywhere between 6,000 to 7,000 feet above sea level, which is very high and dry. Uh, we do have rain, which is great, but day to day, it's very dry here. We put our heaters on in the house and in the car, also very dry. If you drive in a car for a long time, it's very dry. So that whole upper respiratory passage uh, through the nasal ca the cavity and into the, the trachea, into the lungs. It's just drier than it normally would be if we lived, say, near the ocean or in the eastern United States where it's so humid you feel like you're drinking water when you breathe. But without that, one of the, one, a, a good measure to help your lungs stay healthy is to humidify your room. So have a humidifier. The other way is to drink plenty of water, even in the wintertime. So in the wintertime, it seems like we drink less almost because we just don't feel like it. It's not hot, we're not sweating as much, but it, we still need to drink the water. And drinking room temperature water is your best bet. Um, it hydrates you the most. If, if you're properly hydrated, if your digestive tract has the amount of hydrogen uh, di oxide or H2O, um, you're going to produce enough acid to digest your food. You're going to be able to kill viruses and bacteria through that system. If your lungs are hydrated, they have the proper systems to prevent things from infiltrating, such as a virus. So that's one specific reason to stay hydrated. What's the rule of thumb? Um, one of my go-to's, because it's easiest to remember, is half your body weight in ounces. So if you're 200 pounds, you need to drink 100 ounces. If you're 150 pounds, you need to drink 75 ounces a day. And that's sipped and spread throughout the day. You don't gulp 32 ounces all at once. You, you, you drink it sporadically throughout the day, ideally between meals and away from meals. Um, that's another subject for digestion, but it helps your digestion if you're drinking away from your meals and not during your meal. The other thing I talked about was pain and aching. So if you are not hydrated, random pains can show up in your organ systems, in your muscles, in your joints. Our body preferentially sequesters the water to the most important organ. So your heart, your brain, those, those need to be functioning or we don't function your lungs. So joints aren't as important. So if you notice achy joints, especially when you get up in the morning, why is it? It's probably because you're dehydrated. Drink a lot of water, drink a lot of water throughout the day, watch yourself for a week after regaining the habit of drinking water and you'll notice joints feel better. Your shoulder, your elbows, your knees, your ankles, they just don't feel as bad. Well, now your body doesn't have to sequester and preferentially use the water that it is limited with. It has an abundance of water and it can properly use it to make your joints lubricated and feel good. Your muscles aren't so tense and like beef jerky. Instead, they're more like a tender roast. So that's another reason to drink water for the aches and pains. For detoxing, water is so important because if you have a channel of water, a river, a stream, and it's dry, but yet a lot of trash is thrown into it, all that trash is just gonna remain if you're dehydrated. If you're properly hydrated and you're detoxing, say you're, um, 
you're, you're doing a special detox. Well, you need to drink plenty of water to get all of that flushed out. You need to get it flushed through your liver to be processed and removed through your intestines or your kidneys, and that's a way to detox. If you aren't drinking enough water, your detox is, is pointless. Um, the other thing with water, the, the last thing I want to say about water, um, there's, I mean, books have been written about the importance of being hydrated and drinking water. But one final thing I think is, is the emotions we hold can be sent to the entire body because of water. Water is a, is a distinct messenger of, of, of information. And if that information is constantly negative or constantly uh, self-depreciative or, or just poor, then the quality of the water through your system is going to be that way too. And it makes you more prone to getting sick. So as you consider that, that your whole system is surrounded and bathed in water, what are we, 60, 70, 80 percent, you hear so many percentages, percentages all the time of water. If you're properly hydrated, you're probably one of the higher percentages of your body is water. So if you have that water and you give it a good message daily, uh, a meditation uh, uh, and, and good proper food, then you're sending the message of health and it's both preventative and helps with treatment. Thank you so much and I hope you listen to us again with Compass Naturopathic Health.